Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the car rental system part 3 tutorial. Uh, in this class I am going to save the record into the database. Right? So let's back to our project. Uh, here what I am going to do is here. Here after I enter all the uh, after I enter all the uh, form values here. Uh, click save button. What happen is it's post it, it, it goes to the post method uh, here this, uh, this this one should be the controller rent controller save action method it goes to the uh, rent controller save action method so what I am going to do is here go to the rent controller I am going to create the method as save control so uh, save index method right I am going to create save index method it is very easy stuff so same thing I am going to what I am going to do is I am going to control C to copy control V to paste here here we have to this one should be the same. Right. Let's see. Okay. This one should be the same. Right. Now here, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, this one should be rental table. So you have to write rental. This one should be rental. I'm going to load the, all the rental stuff. Right. Rental. Where is rental? Right. This one. Uh, this table. This table I'm going to load. So you, so you have to write this name correctly. Uh, rent. Right. Okay. Here name should be the same uh, the table complete table I'm going to load and here uh, I'm going to create the object print right I'm going to create the object print I just create the object as print right okay now what I'm going to do is here here after this one we know yet we all the stuff we have to remove it now here first we have to write here this uh, if 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 model state model state model state dot is valid is valid so right here is uh, db dot rental dot add rent right okay now here this is the rental right this is, we can add the records into the rental table right get the all the records you have to add uh, added here so here we have to write uh, car number so you have to write here is uh, we have to write here we have to uh, do the update part as well uh, we have to create the variable car equal var car equal db dot car register register table you have to write car register table because by, what, what I am doing to you here is uh, when you add the records into the database we have to change we have to update the state uh, isn't it state mean here the car availability state we have to once once you uh, rent the car is availability become a no so we have to make it like this okay so we have to create like this car registration table dot uh, we have to write single this one right. here we have to write here is uh, we have to write the uh, lambda expression object e write e dot car number uh, double equal rent that means this rent uh, dot car number car this one should be car number uh, rent car id i have make it as this one should be the car id here in table i have make it as a car id here this one going table i have make it as a car id this car id okay that's why you have to write like this okay. car id okay okay now let's write this okay perfect now here what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to write if car double equal null Double equal null. You have to write return. Return. HTTP uh, not found. Right here, car is not valid. Right, car is not valid. Car number is not valid. So you have to write car dot available equal to your set as no. You have to add it. Right. You have to update like this. Okay. You have to write db dot uh, entry bracket here car uh, dot state equal 
dot update state here, right? Yeah. Entity state. Entity. Entity state. Dot modify. Entity state. So we have right entity state. And We have to add these things, right? Dot modify. So write db dot save changes. Return redirect action. I'll write index. That's the thing we have to do. Finally, you have to write uh, return view red. Right. Okay. Now let's do the task. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Uh, here, go to the <coughs> index here. Right. When you click the save button, it goes to the rent save action method. That's the thing we have to do. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Right. Rent. Card. Cards available. Here we have to write the customer ID. One. Customer name should be displayed. Rental fee. We have to enter 12,000. Starting date. Today date. Ending mean we have one day, right? Click save, right? What's the problem? Rent save. What's the problem? What's the problem here? Rent controller save method. This is a rent controller serve action method. What's the problem? Car number, custom ID, the same name you have to give here. The database name you have to get the database. Uh, car register, uh, this one. Rental, the same name you have to, to, to be there. First number should be cars. So we have to write this car ID. Let's make it as car ID. Because the, what's the name here? But the same name you have to give the form as well. Right? Cast ID is a cast ID. After that fee, write fee, right? After the S date and uh, E date, all the stuff are correct. Right? That's the thing we have to write. After that, what I am going to do is a car ID, the same ID, this one. This one also control C copy, control V to paste here also. Same thing, control C copy. Here we have to change this one as a uh, here also all the stuff you have to change. Uh, here this one. Car number you have to change it as a car ID. Convert me to paste here. Uh, we load it. Otherwise it won't work. Here car number we have to change it as a car ID. Right? Mm, oh, that's it. That's the only thing we have to change. Right? This one is a variable. We no need to change. It goes here this variable. This, this one it's a method. Right? This here also change. Car ID. Right? That's the thing we have to do. Uh, now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Right? That is the might be the error. Here is the might be the error here. Now let's close this one. Now you have to run right. Right. Now let's select the car number here. Uh, here relevant details should be successfully displayed. If you enter the customer ID, relevant uh, customer name should be displayed. Here I am going to enter the rental fee, starting date, ending date. Click save button. Record save. Right. Now whether you can save or not, we can check here. Go to the rental part. This is a rental, right? The rental part, right? Select all. Here it's working successfully. Here it's working successfully. Right? Now let's go to Echo again. We have to select the car number here. It won't work. Now it won't work here. It won't work, right? Now if you add the another car, right? If you add the another car, you can check here. 
Honda some model right like this A B C something available you have to click yes you have to select yes here yes right this one should be available no one this is yes now when the car we can add the another customer you can add the customer here I'm going to add the customer as Peter address India mobile something like that create create right create it rent Select the second one here. Now here, if you select first one here, car is no, not available. If it is two, it's available, right? Perfect. It's working perfect. And now we are going to load the table here, right? So what I'm going to do is we have to go to the form design. We have to make little bit design here. So here we have to write here is simple here. We have to consider the form design first. Now here we have to write, we have to do, we have to separate the two tables, right? This one should be a form design, another ton, uh, thing is a form low, uh, table. So we have to write this one, uh, this one as we have to, uh, small four, we have to select like this, right? This div, we have to close it, control X to cut off, we have to close it here, here right? This is the row, right? Before this div, here. Right, this is the row one. First, here this is div is started. It's close it here. Before here, you have to close it here. Right. After that, you have to make it another div. Right. The same div you have to copy. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. This one should be eight because the table we need to eight. Right. All right. Here also close that. Here. Now first of all what I am going to do is here uh, you have to design the table simply table class we have to write uh, table class uh, we have to write uh, we have to write table simply you have to table class you have to write like this right. after that you have to write the now here you have to write the table row tr you have to write the th tag inside the here right table columns right first one should be the car number uh, car number right second t th control c copy control v to paste here right second one should be customer id third one should be fee fourth one should be start date After that, same thing, control C, copy, control V, paste here, end date. Right. So, final one should be there, control C, copy this one, control V, paste here, this one should be available. That's the we have to write. Okay. Now let's check. Here is working perfect right now we, we have to load the data so let's stop it now what I'm going to do is go to the uh, here go here we have to create a separate method for we have to join two tables together these all the records are coming from the uh, rental table this uh, data is coming from the car table available or not so we have to join two tables if you are joining uh, mbc sb.nbc what you are going to do is we have to create the additional uh, file C, uh, cs file so go to the model select the model right click add class here i'm going to write here as rental view model rental view uh, rental view model view model uh, rental view model this is the class rental view model right so this is the class i'm going to create click at right. your class class is created like this so here what i'm going to do is here uh, the same thing you have to copy and paste it here right so go to the car uh, this one rental table the same thing we have to copy the same thing you have to copy until the date right the same thing can also copy it uh, you have to paste paste them into this model. Final thing is you have to write this one. This is coming from 
which table car registration table this data control seat copy this same data control seat copy back to my this table you have to paste it that's it that's the thing you have to write okay now you have to build it rebuild it right okay that's the thing you have to create it right after create it what i am going to uh, do it here uh, go to the uh, after the done the stuff you have to go to the uh, this one your form rental form, rental design uh, view this is a view of that you have to import the model first right you have to import the model that's the important stuff you have to import the model right so here we have this one we don't need that you have to write the model here how to write the model here is you have to write uh, model i enumerable number this is enumerable the same thing web web application 38 mean my project name you can get that project name here the project name uh, dot model sorry dot models dot models models dot view view uh, what is the model name here models here we have to write this one that's a problem is here we have to end this one to end it sorry problem is dot what is the thing you have to write here rental view we have to add the rental view it's a rental uh, rental view that's the thing we have to write okay, okay that's the thing we have to write that's the thing you have to write here uh, that's the only thing you have to write after right you have to build this one right right okay problem is over uh, you have to this uh, mod this uh, separate class you have to import this uh, model then only you will be able to load the things right so after that what i am going to do is here right now we have to display the details into the table so what i'm going to do is go to the our controller uh, rent rent uh, this one our controller we have to go to the controller uh, rent controller we have to load the data so how to load the data is here we have to write this one here uh, you have to write simply you have to create the thing is you have to write index action method we have to go to the index action this is the index action method when the form is loaded the data should be loaded so index action method we have to write it simply uh, we have to write var result equal type from r in db dot rental join c in db dot uh, car uh, registration right here you have joined two table rental and car registration table uh, after that you have right here on how to join on uh, army rental table object r r dot car i equals uh, c dot c mean car table join dot car number we have joined together right. that's the thing we have got after that we have to write here uh, we have to write here uh, select select new rental view model rental view model this one that's a rental view model this one we have to write a rental view this one this class we have to write this one so we have to write rental rental view model this one right. rental view model right after that we have to write here is simply we have to write open bracket and close bracket here we have to this one we have to right go here right this one that's right 
here we have right here we have right we have to join the things id equal r dot id right. rental id right here right. after that we have right r dot id right after that we have right car number car number this one should be car uh, here rental table car id equal r dot car id right comma after that we have the customer id uh, here we have cust id equal r dot cust id you have to get all the details from uh, rental table right fee equal r dot fee comma s date equal r dot s date comma e date equal r dot e date comma look right here right it's a problem available available equal is coming from the c dot available it is coming from the card table right that's the thing we have to write okay perfect now here we have right here uh, we have right here dot to list so right to uh, dot uh, to list that's the thing we have to write here we have the uh, result field we have to pass this result control c to copy control v to paste it that's the thing we have tried what is the wrong what's the wrong so what is the wrong here is we go to the i think we didn't write the uh, rental view model ah he we didn't return the uh, e, e date okay end date so we what i'm going to rental table here we didn't copy this one control c to copy uh, back to rental view this rental view paste it right now let's build it now let's back to our this controller it's working now it's working perfectly right now what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to uh, this one index this page so we have right here is a follow to uh, load the data here we have to load the data using the follow statement to load the data so let's check our do the test right so here we have right uh, follow for each sorry you have tried for each loop for load the data so for each var item you have to get the variable item in model right now here we have to write specify the models here so write that specify the models here right open bracket close bracket you have to write tr So you have td, you have write td, and here you have write a uh, model, right? You have write at item dot car number car id, so car id here is coming perfectly. The same thing you have write uh, other stuff as well. Control C to copy, control V same. Second one should be uh, cast id. It's there in the property. Third one should be control C copy, control V to paste here. Third one should be uh, cast ID fee, right? Same thing, control C copy, control. Fourth one should be uh, fee. After that, we have write estate. Estate means start date. After that, same thing, control C copy, control V to paste here. After that, uh, end date, e date. Right. Finally, available. Same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste it. Here it's uh, available. It's coming from the card table. Here it's available. It's there. All the things are coming perfectly. Right? It's coming perfectly. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Here it's working perfectly. Here it's working. Perfectly. Now, if you add another cars, uh, customer ID two, Peter, 
dental fill I'm going to like like this starting day to day one month duration uh, here 24 save here it's working for now it's available to cars or no you can check here as well right I hope you guys you understood the rent part now I'm going to moving to the uh, return part Let's go to the project and do the return part. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, I'm going to go to the uh, database. I'm going to create the uh, uh, create the database. I'm going to create the table, which is a uh, return table. Right. We have to create the return table. So we have to first go to the select the table. Right click new table. First we have to need a uh, this one should be the ID. Int. This one should be identity specification. Yes. This one should be the car number. Watch out. Should be the cast ID. Int. After that date. This is the return date. This is the return date. But what date you have to return the car, right? Uh, here we have to uh, this one should be the date this one should be the date elapsed right so you'll, you'll uh, you have to write SP right, date elapsed how many days right calculated right uh, here we have to this one should be the uh, int right here also fine I've got the fine right fine pay this also int right here we have to specify the ID as primary this is the return table ID primary Perfect. This is the thing you have to do here. Right. We let me save the table. This one should be able to name it as return. Return car. Right. Return car. Right. Return car. Right. Now let's right click and refresh the table. Right. This is the return car. Right. Okay. This is these are the columns there. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here. Let's load the model. So select the uh, sorry inside the model a uh, model dot ed image. You have just click on this one. Here yeah. uh, these these are the models also loaded. Now right click. I'm going to add this one. Uh, here we have quite update model from the database. Select the table. You have to finish it. Right here it's added. Now here right click. Get right validate build rebuild solution right perfect now what i'm going to do is here here your newly created table will be added here now what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to go to the controller select the controller right click add controller this controller i'm going to select empty add return card click it right here this is the return car control right now here there will be index method called here right select the index method right click add view click it right okay this is the view right now here we have no need this one we have to uh, do the designing part as well right here we have right view class row Now here we have to write the design the form first, right? Now we have to design here is first we have to write uh, uh, this one should be the registration due. The same thing you have to be no need right. Uh, go to the uh, this one rent a car here. This is all the things we have this form we have to copy it. We no need to write again by again. The same form we have to copy this thing is right. We no need to write again by again. If you write this, take too much time to come. The control will be wasted. Here you have to change, right? This one should be return. This this one should. What is the controller? Return. Car. This is a controller name. Uh, this is a save method, right? So after that, the first one should be you have to write here is a car ID. So you have car number. It's no problem. Second one should be the uh, customer ID. Perfect. Third one should be the date. Okay, here we have to change the date. 
you only if you have to change the date here date here you have to change here as a date same thing control c to copy control v to paste here as a date after that here we have to change this uh, third one uh, this one should be the day allowed day is allowed if you are not uh, end over the car on time there will be a date allowed right how many dates is calculated right is calculated the date allowed. so here to you have to write a up copy control c copy control v to paste here after that we have to write here is a fine here also fine control c copy control v to paste here uh, after that we have to write as a this all the stuff we have to write so we have to write close it that's the thing we have to write okay right this simple form right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to connect this into the controller so let's go to the chart reference double click on the layout here here we have to write these things Control c to copy Control v to paste here i'm going to add the new controller here uh, this one should be the uh, what is the controller name you have to write return car so you have to write return car return car controller right Control c to copy this one should be your main test this one we have to write we have to control the name here to make it as capital letter so no problem Control c to copy Control v to paste right. okay if you are making this one should be a capital letter i forgot to make it like it okay i suddenly type like this so you have to write like this okay right return card right now let's check whether it's working fine or not right return card click on this one here all the fields should be displayed successfully perfect right it should be the perfect now right here one thing i forgot it this one not, not a combo box uh, drop down we have to instead of that we have to make it as a text one right we forgot that one okay so if i enter the details so here go to the this one rent car this one text here we have to instead of this one we no need this one car id this is we have to write this one input box car id right control c to copy control v to paste right okay this one should be the car id If I enter the correct car ID, uh, customer details and date, return date and allowed dates, so all those things are calculated. If the if the if the customer not end or on time, its allowed date will be calculated uh, according to the allowed date. Fine should be calculated. Each day fine should be hundred rupees. I include right. So let's do the JavaScript part here. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. We have JavaScript here right here. Ras uh, section you have to write this don't no need to write again by again you just copy and paste it from here uh, this one print so the same thing javascript we have the javascript here this file is right we no need to write we just copy this there control c copy control v to paste here close the bracket here we have to write what we have to write here is a uh, script Open and close it. Here we have to write. Uh, we have to write uh, this key up. If you enter the key, right? So the same code. The key up code. We have to copy this key up. The same key up code. That's the key up code of the rent system. And this is the key up code. We have to find the customer. Uh, enter the customer. The same thing. And just copy this one. This one is in there. Control C to copy back to return dot uh, sorry back to our this one return car here we have to paste instead of writing again by again we have to simple here right this one here modify at uh, get car car id get car id like the same function control C to copy control V to paste here we have to paste it here this one should be the searching for the car id it's a car id that is the text box name car id after the same thing, control C, copy, control V to paste here. It goes to the ID and select the details. Okay, it goes to the ID and select the details here. Right, uh, the same thing. Right here, this uh, you have to change this one as a return. Return. Right, get ID, ID, 
it's no problem right what's the id you are typing it goes to the controller return controller get id uh, action method right uh, along with this id id is go right uh, that's the thing you have to write json type uh, here post method right perfect right here we write this one we know it only we have first te test the data in the console whether it's coming or not uh, after that we have to do the validation part right so what i'm going to do is here go to the return controller return controller we have to write the code here right now here we have to write the code here is uh, the same thing control c copy control read basically action method we have to write uh, get type this one should be get type get id i change this one as a get id what's the id we have to give here the get type same thing control c copy so get tidy here right here is string car number string car number here we have to write here is we have to no need so now we have to write here uh, this the database we have to what is the entities the same thing go to the rent dot rent view page this is the database sorry not uh, here control this is database here super entity same thing control c copy control c paste this is super this is entity right this is not error we have to import the package what's the problem right oh sorry we have to import here not here, here. inside the right now we have to add the model right this is a, your database beside down here now you have to get tidy so here out right here is uh, you have to write the database car successfully now here you have to write the car find find the car so your car you have to car right to create the object car you have to write here you have to write from uh address in you have to write db dot rentals what's the car you are rented here fine where s dot car number car id equal car number car number so here what right here is uh, select new open and close bracket here right now here you have to write here is uh, start date start date equal s dot date s dot you have to write uh, s date this one right come on uh, rent a rent a table you have to find the things so after that you have to write second one should be the end date end date i am trying to create the end date equal so write is dot edit right comma um, second after that you have to write a cast id equal s dot cast id comma car number is now s dot car id comma for that fee equal s dot fee comma so that l of this uh, elapsed this equal your right sql function sql function dot What's the problem here? Right here. Function start. Date if. Date if. This one. Right here is. We have right here. Day. Comma. S dot date. S dot. Yeah, S dot. E date. Ne, end date. So end date. Here the current date. Here to calculate the. Right, date, 
quite date time sorry comma we have to write date time now date time dot now that's the thing we have to write okay or finally we have to write here is dot we have to write dot uh, we have to write here dot to array that's the thing we have to write okay finally we have to write return JSON current comma JSON pictures behavior dot hello get that's again we have to write okay now what I'm going to do is yeah uh, everything fine we have to write a post method this one should be the post HTTP post Right, that's it. That's the thing we have to do. Right, that's the only thing we have to do. Uh, once you enter the car, right? So here the details should be displayed here, right? So let's check. We have to put it the console data. Let's check whether it's working fine or not. Once you enter the car number. Enter the car number. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. What happened? Impact. Return car ID is 0, 0, 1. It goes there, but what happened? It's not written. Okay, let's check. Get ID. Ah, this car ID is here. It goes to which control? Return controller. So get tidy method car so car ID so it should be the uh, so ID okay here so ID so control C to copy uh, you have to paste it here that's the thing that's the wrong so you have to the same thing control C to copy you have to paste it here car number okay now let's check so what are the we have given here the same thing you are given there that's the problem A zero 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 one. Right. Now let's check. Now what's the problem here? Car number A zero zero one. But the problem is here. Let's go to the index this one view. Ah, here this pro problem is return car this control. That's a problem. Right, return car. This is return car. So return car control right that's the problem right so let's run if you enter the car number here one let's go to the impact and check the details it's coming detail is coming now here what i'm going to do is here we have to pass the relevant customer id when you enter the car, uh, car number here relevant customer id uh, date all the stuff display here so what to do is here let's stop the programming here we have to write here this uh, we simply write cast id this is a cast id display customer id right so we have to write here same thing we have to write here right cast id dot well you have to write data you have to write cast id this one should be a cast id cast id being this one right after that date second one should be the date we have to display so we have to control sheet copy control it paste here this one should be the date date we have to write here is uh, uh, this that one should be the date format you have to write inside the value you have to write here is new date um, date date new date you have to write pass int pass int pass int pass int you have to write here data you have to write here zero so right here is dot 
end date dot sub not right sub is t r so right here is six okay we have right here is uh, dot to uh, you have to add dot to local um, date string to you have to add to local date string local Here what is the problem right? You have to close it here. That's the thing. You have to after that you have to re-elapt. re the same thing you have to control C to copy control V to paste here. You have to write uh, ELAP. Right. You have to write here uh, data zero, you have to write help this. This one. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Right. Same thing control C to copy control V to paste here and get it to copy again. You have to write here LF days, you have to calculate here. That's so why you have to write here is if uh, you have to write here uh, var ELAP variable, you have to get the LF days this one. That is what is the LF days you are coming, you have to put it here or if LF greater than 0. Greater than 0. The LFD is more than greater than zero. It is more than greater than zero. We have find calculation. So var find equal ELAP this LF, this one variable. Each day we have include hundred find right. So it's display on the find table uh, find text box. Can you see the copy? Can you see the find text box? Here also, this one should be the find dot two string. So right here is uh, find dot two string. Right. Find dot two string. You have to write find dot two string. That's the thing. We have right. Else, you have right here is control C to copy control V to paste here. You have right here is zero. Now let's check. The car ID A001. Here, details will be displayed successfully. Here, here it's displayed successfully. I'll update mean it's uh, the day is not added here, it's included so that uh, a, here is the not equal so here we have to write here is a fine so we have to calculate the fine we have to display so for fine it's not a date picker we have to type this with also so the text so we can check here right dlf me dlf is not calculated here Finally, here what I'm going to do is here. Mm, I think we have to do it like right, LFD, right? Okay. Mm, right. Now it's working perfectly. Now here we have to check again. Yes, LFD is we have to here this customer return the car before the end date. So that's why we have to be no need a uh, uh, LFD included here. Return. Okay. There will be the time to return, so we have to include no this one. We have to the second one. See, fine should be zero, right? Twelve days remaining to remaining here to end over the car. Okay, before that no fine included. That's why it's display like this, right? Now here the end of the problems here arise is the date. What's the date? Is a problem. 
local string your local date string you write date string only i need a date only i no need a time and all only a date that is perfectly display okay it's display perfectly right now what i am going to say i am going to save this record into the database it's very easy stuff to do the task so here when you click save button it goes to the uh, return car return car controller save action method right so go to the return car uh, return car here index action method so you have right here the index action method so you have no no index action here we write here after the index action method you have right here the same you have right same thing here control c copy control v this one you have change it as save method say so the same thing but you have done the the thing the same thing you have right here the the table name is return car but the return return car is one so return car table object re car so you have right here is uh, if model state dot is valid you have right db dot return cars dot at re car right out of that you have right create the variable var car equal db dot car registrations dot single this one right here your criteria is e equal e dot car number equal your criteria is r e car, car dot car number so right here if car to null so return http not found car number not found car dot available equal yes db dot entry you have to write here is car dot state entity state you have to write here is dot modified now you have to write here db dot save changes right here is return redirect Right here is a action method index. Right. Now here we have right return recap this one. Control C to copy control V to paste. Right. After the after we have to return the car, the car availability in the car table we have to make it as yes. That's the thing we have to return here. Right. So return car number is a car. Right. So we have to write here. We got car registration car number. So return car number. Right, we have to receive. Right now, let's check whether it's working fine or not. Right, 
here save method right save this was save method return car save method return car right okay okay now let's check right here we have to return the car of this right save what's the problem return car save method that the problem is here if you got this problem i think the problem is here coming here the form the form data something the problem right uh, so let's get to the database table if all the stuff are correct here check car number this one ah, this one is the car number here i have wrote here as a car id that's a problem here as a return table right that's the only the problem i have the LF is also the problem. ELASP. ELASP. You have right ELASP. The same name you have right here. That's the problem. SP. Find correct. Car ID is a car number. This is a car number. That's the problem. So here is a car number. And see, copy control. The same thing you have to do here as a. This one you have changed as a car number. Here also car number. Control V to paste this one should be how to change as yes, uh, this one as yes, this one ls control c to copy control v to paste here right. in mbc what the name here your field name here given here the same name you have to write in the database right then only it's saved right so now let's check right now let's check Right, it's working. Right now, you can check here. Yeah, it's working. Now, if you uh, go to the car registration table, here it is. Yes, ABC. Yes. Now you will be go to the rent. This car is yes. Right. If you select one, you can't add it because it is no. If it is two, it's visible. Right. You can order the car. Right. Very simple system. I made in step by step. Uh, final re uh, retouch we have to change this in application name as car rental so how to change it as here is file re final retouch go to the shard inside the shard layout you have to change this one as a car rental car rental right okay. that's the thing we have to do right that's the only thing we have to do after that this home when the user come to the home page this is the home page it's look like right okay inside the view there will be the home home folder inside the home folder when the user log in the home for uh, home page is coming so this home page what i'm going to do is here we no need this all the stuff we have to remove it only we have to do the thing is this one should be your make it as a car rental okay because uh, if you go to the app start folder route config it's set as a home control index action method it's called home controller index action method mean sorry this one so it's this page here this one home controller in the uh, home controller index action method D, right this how you have to work, right so let's run the application and check here it's working perfectly everything is working perfectly here you will be able to create the car customer and rent and return a car right i hope you guys you understood this project well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me and thank you for watching